Worker, Senator Casey. Mr. Chairman, thank you. I want to uh, thank you, first of all, for your leadership on this issue and for convening this hearing because uh, every day of the week, uh, both uh, Chairman Cole and Senator Corker and I know that we can have hearings on lots of subjects, and they're all important in one way or another, but often they're, they tend to be broader and more general, and they give us information, but they don't necessarily lead to a, a strategy to create and develop legislation. Today is a, uh, an exception to that. Chairman Cole has called a hearing where we have um, a very specific and urgent problem, and we're getting very specific and um, detailed advice, not based upon theory, but based upon trial and error and practice, and unfortunately, uh, springing in many cases from tragedy. And um, that leads me to, first of all, apologize for being late. I was uh, going to give a more formal introduction to Bernie Strain, who's an old friend of mine, but it probably worked out better because he speaks very well for himself, as he always has. And I'm grateful, Bernie, you're here, grateful for uh, your witness. And uh, we know that in Washington we often have, uh, as we do today, all of our witnesses bring experience and, and learning and passion to these issues. It's especially significant when someone brings their own uh, personal story, as Bernie Strain did today. So he's, um, we're grateful that he's here. We're grateful that he, he shared this story, Timothy's story. But uh, he's worthy of special commendation that he's uh, willing to put his own uh, story on the record and from his own tragedy to, uh, to give us information and, and I think, inspiration uh, to solve this problem. I wanted to start with, um, w with uh, Bernie, and I want to get to everyone uh, each, each of our five witnesses, but I wanted to ask uh, Bernie Strain about, uh, as you've learned about this problem in the aftermath of, of Timmy's death, uh, and you and I have spoken about this uh, at, at somewhat, but not a, at length, about the strategies or the programs that you've seen in, in practice or that you've read about or learned about that you think work particularly well. I know we have examples here, and I want to hear from other witnesses, but what's your sense of how this would work best, especially um, on a national scale? Senator, Senator, thank you. Oh, the button there. I'm sorry. Senator, thank you for the kind words, and once again, I'd like to thank my wife, Beverly, for joining me as well. Senator, this problem, as well as a lot of problems in the United States, will not be solved with one program. This problem will be solved with a mix of Senator Collins' program in Maine, Senator Corker's program in Maine, and many of the other programs that were spoken about here today. But in this case, and in, in my case, engaging the youth in a program, and that's why I often cite the P2D2 program, it's where we bring our youth into the decision-making process. And until the youth take ownership of this problem and their problems, being on the environmental side as well as the drug problem side, law enforcement side, until our youth take ownership in this program, and when our youth take ownership in this program, they will help mold that program that will work. And when I mentioned the P2D2 program, and you can check it on their website, but it is a program where the youth is involved in the creation of this program, as well as the implementation of this program. So when they take ownership, and this and their studies um, and their environmental impact and the it's a, and a, a twofold problem where it's environmental as well as drugs but until they take ownership and when they take ownership senator I think the world and, and, and our country will be a better place so with the program that I often mention like I said there's other programs that are out there 
It's a program that's a drug give back program, but it is also in in September we as in the school that Timmy attended will bring the P2D2 program on an educational side of things into the school. Timmy attended a Philadelphia school that was environmental friendly. The school was the Walter B. Saw uh, school and they call it the farm school. Yes, Senator, there is a farm school in the city of Philadelphia and they often win prizes uh, in the state farm show, as you know. But it's worth bringing that program to, into the schools where Saul can Skype the school in Illinois. And it's the continuing education process that, that will make this program and others program, you know, take effect mm -hmm. and give them a responsibility to get involved in this program or a program. And I, and I think that, that education um, part of this is, is vitally important because uh, uh, this is not a problem that uh, you see on the front page every day, as you, as you all know. So that, that part of it is going to be a challenge. I, I guess one of the problems I'm, or one of the challenges that I'm trying to wrestle with here is how best to do this if, um, if we can do something at the national level. Sometimes the federal government does too much. We try to have uh, one program one size fits all, too prescriptive, where states and even even jurisdictions smaller than a state have already have a strategy figured out, and they basically say, "Don't get in our way, just give us some help, and we we have a 